Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a donkey. You're going to need two palm leaves, and these I already separated and cut the ends, and some scissors. This is what the donkey looks like. Oh, you're going to also need some tape. It's optional. So that's how it looks. So you're gonna, first you're going to cross them with that. You're going to fold one end in, and then you're going to fold the other end across of it. And then you're just going to fold the top end. And you're going to take the bottom part from where the fold is, and you stuff it in there. And you're going to fold. All the way. So you have this not like thing. I'm gonna do that for both of them. And You're going to take them, and you're going to make three lines. You're going to take them out, and one, two times, and you're just going to separate them. And they should be pretty even, but not super duper even. You don't have to like go using the ruler just trying to make them even. They should just be. An okay size. I'm gonna do the other one too. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take them and you're gonna put them like this so they're right next to each other as an X. And then you're going to put it up and like zigzag a little bit. this to the end product of this should look a little bit like that then what you're going to do is you're going to take this side this side you're going to take it the last one and you're going to leave it out that's going to be your tail for the donkey and you're going to fold the first one I'm gonna do the same thing you did for the first stitch, all the way down. Now I'm gonna use the second one. And then the third. The third pound. Then you're gonna leave the last two, like that. Then you're gonna start with the one you left off with. And you're gonna do the same thing all the way down. And then you're just gonna pull it like that. Then you're gonna do the next one until you have two left. This is going to be the belly of your donkey, or horse, or llama, or giraffe, however you make it. 
I did not get this the first time. I had a lot of trial and error before I actually completed the real donkey. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take it from the belly where the leg is. You're going to just fold it again. Fold it. I'm just going to go I'm going to do it till you have two left, and those two left are going to act as the ears for your donkey. Those are your ears. So this is your neck. And then keep doing it. You're not going to do your ears just yet. It's how, like, your donkey looks. If you think that you should add the ears now, you add the ears. But if you don't see that you should add the ears right now, then don't. So I'm thinking right now I'm going to add the ears after I finish this last stitch. Last couple stitches. This is how my donkey looks right now. So, this is my tail. These are my legs. Here. And then this is the back where Adusa sits. This is for a video for Palm Sunday. And then you do the last one. Then you have your two ears. You are going to do the last stitch for the muzzle or mouth, if you don't know donkey horse terms. And then for the last one, and then you could keep going. Uh, it's going to make it look a little wonky, but you can. I'm going to stop right here. What I like to do is I twist them, and then I fold them back. that and then you want to take your tape I have this scotch 3m take glossy finish transparent tape I'm just gonna take a little bit I'm gonna tape it on the donkey in the back and make sure it's secure and then after that you take your scissors cut the extras so a little see this one looks a bit like a llama because the muzzle isn't big enough and you cut ears smaller the legs and the tail you can do the same thing you did in the beginning you make the tail a bunch of different threads like this and that is your donkey slash llama video. And that's the end. See you later. Subscribe and like.